poor girl. She didn't deserve that. Poor girl? Half the precinct aren't taking a vacation this year because of her. You need to leave town a lot quicker than that if you decide to screw over Mickey C. All right, Egyptian theater. This seems like a long shot. Aren't they all? Car 11 King, Car 11 King, come in. Car 11 King. Message from the coroner. The cause of death was a knife wound. Repeat, a knife wound. The revolver appears to have belonged to the victim. KGB. Son of a He stabbed her. I thought you said real men use their fists, not guns. That guinea... You think he got the money, too? Come on, Roy. We're bringing this whole tragedy to its conclusion. Man, that's tough. And actually, let's see. We might need some some backup here. Let's see if we got right. Can we get some guns? We can't get some guns. All right. Maybe we don't need guns. Maybe they don't want us to shoot up the theater. <laughs> I'm ready for anything, baby. I'm ready to shoot up the theater if we have to. All right. Let's see. Why'd you kill her, Carlo? Your gripe was with me. She was collecting the money for you. Mickey made it clear it was either me or you, and, and I intend to keep on living. All right, so I guess through this door is where we got him. There's no other ways out, right? There's no upstairs. See that? I knew we were going to need a gun. I tried to get it and couldn't get it. Double doors. All right, we can't go this way. We got to go through that door, I guess. What's on this right side? So we could go right or left. Should I go left and get left, or should I go right? Because right is right. I think we'll stick with the left. Why not? She stole those betting slips. She was running out on me. Then you were going to let her? No, I let her collect. I set her up just like she set me up. Just like my manager set me up. Everyone wanted me to take a dive. Everyone wanted me to take the short money. It's for the best thing. You were washed up, kid. You couldn't climb and you were too brave to sink. You were going nowhere. Maybe, but I had heart. I was a Royal Marine, Carlo. If I lost a fight, it wasn't for lack of trying and it wasn't for lack of courage. I didn't have much, but I had that. I did it for you and that's how you repay me. You did it for yourself. So did little boy. You did it and make a quick buck. And Candy did it and make her dream come true. Blah, blah, blah. I've got the money. All I need to do is get rid of you. It's going to be a shame, kid, but that's business. And he doesn't know we're here. But those flashlights got to give it away. Turn off those lights, We've had enough, Arcaro. Put down your weapon. You're making a big He's mistake, Arcaro. Got him. Oh, wait. Ah, he took off. Oh, we got some more of them. Wow, how many goons they got? Wow. Got him leaning. How was a dead man? Hammond, too, when I find him. All right, the second guy's over here. This guy's running behind, so we might not even want to leave this area. Look at that. See that? He's right. He's right on top of us. Oh, there he is. Got him. So my partner actually took somebody out. Oh, wait, they're still shooting. We're looking. Where are you? All right, let's think about this. <laughs> He survived it, right? He's over there surviving. Oh, wait. I think he's going to go over here. He's moving. He might come to this balcony right here. Let's see. Or maybe he's going to come down here. Oh, there he is. He's coming right there. Hey. Woo. I'm letting it fly. I just missed the head. Got him. That was easy work.
He looks nervous, doesn't he? He's caught up in this. It's time to come out now, Hammond. Put the gun down, Roy. That son of a gives me a lot of money. Catch. Escania sails from New York, Hammond. Be on the next train and don't ever come back. Why? Because I was a Marine and I once lacked courage. Everyone deserves a second chance. Now beat it. What? <laughs> that English prick is getting away with my money, Phelps. Ooh. He said you could just take the money and run. Donnelly and the Homicide Squad send their best, Phelps. They're more than pleased that you wrapped up the Edwards killing. They're a little mystified about the motive. You have any ideas on that? Uh, crime of passion, sir. Uh, looks like some sort of love triangle between the manager, the fighter, and the, uh, his girlfriend. No sign of the scrapper? No, sir. Looks like he left town after the fight. Okay. It's homicide's problem now. Good work, gentlemen. We just letting criminals go free now. Look at that cheat. So even we don't really have that honor. He said, you know what? I was in that situation. I'm going to let it fly. Okay. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense, but we'll take it. 187 at 5810 Murata Avenue. Homicide wants you over there. The coroner thinks the broad was whacked using the army morphine. Don't say anything, Roy. Just get over there. What's with that getup of yours anyway? I should start introducing us as Detective Earl, and this is my science teacher, Mr. Phelps. Your interest in my appearance is starting to get me worrying. Like it or not, we're a dysfunctional couple now. People judge me with you on my arm the same way they would a fat broad with a five o'clock shadow. I really hope you're joking, Roy. So you're the first in this family born without me. Seem distracted. We recovered the morphine. Some of it might be unaccounted for, so what? That's life. We did our job. Closing one case opens another. Do you have any idea what is really going on while we're wasting our time following this stuff? Are you going to tell me? The deals being done right now will change the face of L.A. forever, and we're wasting our time on some hump. Someone's little girl. Visit the morgue at the end of the month when the John and Jane Doe's are cremated. Their percentages, the odds for and against lightning striking. Second floor, apartment six, in the back. Eight, seven, there goes the six right there. Door's already open. Bukowski, you made homicide. That I did. Good to see you, Phelps. You two want a hug? Or can we get on with it? Relax, Rusty. 26 years old, fashion model. Found in the tub by the cleaning lady, Mrs. Reynoldson. She called it in. We heard Carruthers thinks... Carruthers so. likes to make work for people. Overdose of sleeping pills. Falls asleep in the tub. Rest in peace. Case closed. Here, here. Mal is 100% that it's murder. Do you mind if I take a look around? Sure. Go right ahead. If Dusty Rusty is here, then that means that's not right how this ends. Well, we've had a look around. Rusty thinks it's a waste of time. What's your theory? Come on, Mal. Tell us why we were dragged down here. If the victim was alive when she entered the tub, water would have entered her lungs. The water is violently churned in the windpipe as she drowns. The result is that a lot of foam is generated. This foam is found at the mouth and nostrils in almost all cases of real drowning. 
Notice anything about our Vic? May I took a look? Be my guest. Very unusual ring. I could be wrong, but it looks like a black sapphire. The eyes are a classic sign of morphine, and the bruises tell their own story. I think one man held her down, and another held her arm and injected her. They put her in the bath to try to cover it as a drowning. And spread a trail of barbiturates. Take a look around outside on your way out and see if you can find the Sorettes. It would make my theory. And morphine would have been very quick, and there wouldn't have been much of a struggle. Okay, so find two guys who recently bought Sorettes and weren't junkies, and you might be onto something. Let's take a look. He's in here taking photos. We got some pills right there. Looks like barbiturates. And there's pills all over this place. This is crazy. Quality English smoking jacket. I don't know anyone under 45 who would wear one. Uh-oh. We're starting to put it together. Barbiturates. What else is rattling around in this thing? Speak to a doctor. Prescribing both drugs would make her life a roller coaster. Hmm. Look at this case right here, all the stuff that's going on. Anything on this side of the bed? I guess not. Alright, we can't open up any of that, so I guess we're done here. Music is still going, so we got a lot of clues to look at. All right, the living room. We've got some photos. This is all top end of town stuff. Gives us somewhere to look. Right, there's nothing behind this one. So we'll set that down. How about the one in the middle? Maybe this doesn't matter. You never know. There's been a modeling assignment. Modeling job. It's place to start. Tuesday, come keep me company. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here it is, one more photo. What's hiding behind this one? Beautiful girl. The clothes certainly aren't from the Sears catalog. And what's going to be hiding behind this one? Nothing. All right, well. That's tough. We did all three. And we've got all of the clues. What do you have to say? I'm Detective Phelps. I'm here to try and help Julia. Do you mind answering some questions? Virginia Reynoldson, I'm just so shocked. I feel like there's something I should be doing, someone I should call. We can make those calls, ma'am. Who needs to be notified? That's just it. I don't know. Miss Julie doesn't have any family in town. Someone has to set her affairs in order. Um, Mr. Henderson, maybe? I, who else is there? I, I don't know. If you give the details to the other detectives, ma'am, they can try and get in contact. Was Miss Randall depressed about something? Upset? No more than normal. Obviously she's lying. I mean, look at this. She's really a bad liar. <laughs> ah. Victim state of mind. All right, let's take a look. Let's think. The victim state of mind. Possible suicide. Possible cause. And then we have this subscription right here. 
And then we also have some pills for depression. This lady was depressed. Look at that cheese. All right, so that's the question right here. Let, let's see what the intuition says if they get it right. Okay, only 66% of the players, so we're not going to use intuition here because that's too risky. We don't want to use a point over something that, right? It's not a guarantee. If it was like 80%, we'd let this fly. Hmm. So I think we might have to try the, the accuse and back out strategy because I'm not sure here if we're supposed to accuse or if we're supposed to bad cop. She's clearly not telling the truth, right? What are you hiding here, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julie was obviously disturbed about something. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ooh. So she really has no idea. So see, now here's the thing. All right, so what can we pin? What what do we say for sure? Let's see. Two suspects. See, that's another thing. We got two suspects. We have a men's jacket in there. Hmm. Prescription. So we got the prescription, but we also got the sleeping pills and Yeah, see, that's the problem. It could either be the pills or the prescription. We don't know. So we might get this one. We might get this one wrong right here because this lady's not really helping us out at all. So I think. Because this just this is a prescription, but this doesn't say it says prescribed, but this one seems more like because this was all over the place, right? These pills were all over the, the apartment. They were in the bathroom right next to her. They were in the bedroom on the floor. So I think this was kind of hidden. So I don't think it's going to be that. This is the obvious thing. Maybe the, the pills. This one, we might get this one wrong. This, this might be wrong. Here we go. Sleeping. She was taking barbiturates. She couldn't sleep. You must have seen them in her room. You've seen the pill box. The things she hid in there. I don't know how she supported herself. Always new clothes and jewelry. She lived like a movie star. A princess. Does modeling really pay that well? Oh, ho, ho. does modeling really pay that well? I think it does. I think modeling really does pay that well. She's up to something, isn't she? All right, so here we go. Victim's personal life. All right, so now, right, because obviously she had the three photos and, you know, she's getting gigs, she's getting jobs. She had that little secret note behind one of them talking about, hey, come see me or whatever it said. So maybe, well, we did find a jacket too, right? So there's obviously some guy, but they're saying that there's two suspects. So maybe that guy hired somebody else. I mean, who knows what's going on here? All right, victim's personal life. Let's get it. Did Miss Randall have many friends visit? I'm not sure. I only come around twice a week. Oh, damn. You couldn't make it more obvious, girl. Sheesh. You're looking crazy. So why does she not want to tell the truth? If she's just a cleaning lady, right? Why does she care if she's telling? If she's tell the girl is dead. Did she set her up? Are you involved in this lady? Why are you so worried about this? Hmm. I think I think I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see what she says when I accuse and if she gives me a clue. Why are you lying to me, Mrs. Reynoldson? Julia had men stay here. I will not speak ill of the dead. You can't prove that. Oh, that's easy work. Look at that. You can't prove that. We can prove it 100% because we got a jacket right in the crib. Right? We got a jacket right in the crib. Well, see that she gave us the clue. Sometimes they won't give you a clue, though. Like last time we just kind of had to guess, but this time it's clear. Who owns the smoking jacket? I wouldn't like to tell tales, you understand. But that's Mr. Henderson's, an older man, very distinguished looking. He seemed very much in love with her. Where would we find him? Oh, I'm sorry. I, 
I don't know. He said he lives in San Francisco. So now we got, are we going to take a trip to San Francisco in this game? That would be tough. Relationship with the victim. Now, here's a question. We want to know, is there anything else going on other than just being a housekeeper? Let's find out. What was it like working for Miss Randall? Perfectly fine, officer. <laughs> Yo, this dude is frustrated. He's like, come on, cuh. Come on. All right, it was perfect. So let's see. We might have to accuse three times. I don't know if we have anything else to accuse with, though. Let's take a look real fast. Let's see. So. Possible suicide, morphine. So we might just have to go bad cop because the thing is. Right, we can't. Right, we can't use any of this stuff. That wouldn't make any sense. So we might just have to go bad cop. So let me go back. Or actually, wait, let's do this. Okay, we're just going to go bad cop here. She's obviously not telling the truth. She did. She she will not. This is three answers, three questions in a row where she's lying. Why is she lying so much? Mrs. Reynoldson, it seems like there's something you want to tell me. She was very high strung. Lovely one moment and screaming at you the next. She wanted it all and she wanted it damn quick. Of course, being so beautiful, it seemed like she was going to get it. Not the way it's turned out, though, is it? Thanks, Mrs. Reynoldson. You've been very helpful. One of the other detectives will take your statement and then you can go home. Oh, so she was a little bit jealous there. She's like, oh, she's so beautiful, but she didn't quite get what you would think she's going to get, huh? That's tough. All right. Well, I guess we can get up out of here. And we do have another. We got. Oh, yeah. We got those two cops outside. So let's see what they're going to say. Stefan Rusty, we'll take a look around outside and then follow up these leads. Can you get some guys to run down the jacket? Run down the jacket, cuh. You think Carruthers has called it right? He rarely gets it wrong. I don't know. I'm with Galloway. I've met enough girls in my time who can't handle their dope. Now, why do we have music? Why do we have music? You hear that? Something was missed. Hmm. Okay, this just shook. Let me see if it's this. Oh, okay, so this is a trash. What is in there? What is that? Oh, it's the, uh, it's that stuff. It's the morphine. Look at that. It's right there. Mal will be pleased. Well, that's hardly conclusive, given the number of those things we've come across recently. True that. The autopsy will confirm it one way or another. Okay, so at least we have I this. I think our work is done here. Is that the only thing I can grab in the trash? Maybe so. Oh no, there is another thing. What is this? Because we still hear music. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Right, the music is still there. Ah, it's tough. Okay, now the thing goes away. Look at that. Look at the feet. Oh, it's a perfect, it's a perfect placement. That is the best. Free throw line dunk yet. I'm not on the line. That was beautiful. <laughs> Off vert. No dribble. Just caught it and went. Just caught it and let it fly. 